Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a horizontal text crawl in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is what we're creating right here. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is go ahead and import some footage. I went ahead and grabbed something off of Envato Elements. If you like an unlimited amount of stock footage for a subscription-based model, check out the link in the description below. First thing we need to do is create our sort of background here. I'm gonna to go to my tool tab down here, go to the rectangle tool. I'm then going to just draw a box right across like so. Really, this is creative how big and small you want it. And in that particular instance, it actually jumped on me. So I'm then going to move said box back down. I can then manipulate it. For example, I can make it sort of a little red by going over to the essential graphics panel down to fill. I'm gonna make it red. I'm going to then grab this little slider and reduce the opacity on it. Maybe make it a little bit taller and we are good to go on our bottom layer. Now, the next part we're gonna do is the text. This is the interesting part. I really wish Adobe would add the roll feature into the essential graphics panel or the crawl feature. They still have not. So we still need to go up into file, new, and then legacy title. It's gonna go ahead and create one that is based on your sequence settings. So we don't really need to touch that. I like to call this crawl. Click OK. Now, it's going to warn you that it's going to disappear. We'll be addressing the remaining gap, so hopefully the crawl will be added into the text soon. What I then need to do is copy and paste some text in here. So what you want to do is you want to take any of the text you're working on and put it in something like Notepad before you do this. You don't want to type it all out right here because it's going to be very, very long, and this is not a, a text editor, so it's just not going to work very well. So once you have your text copied, click somewhere in here, it doesn't need to be perfect on this first go, and then you're gonna paste it. So Control V or on a Mac, Command V, um, just click that button and it'll paste all the way through. Now, if you notice, because mine was in two lines, it actually copied the lines. So when we go into here, we wanna make sure that if you have any new lines, they're all removed for this. So now when I actually copy and paste this in here, I have just a very singular straight across view or a of text. I'm then going to move this down just a touch, get it centered nicely, and now I'm ready to start the crawl. To start the crawl, we go up to this button right here, to the left of the text, it's right there. We're gonna go crawl left, click OK on this, and it's gonna jump forward in time on here, but that doesn't really matter. You can use this to kind of see where your text is throughout the entire clip. You wanna stay within these bars and just sort of let it go. Once we are done, we're gonna click on this button, and you're gonna see it's not here. And that's because it's actually over here in our little crawl that we created. So I'm gonna drag and drop that back on, and you're gonna see it is going across. Now, this is a lot of text and a small amount of time, in only 16 seconds of time. So if you wanna make it go slower, you have to expand out the amount of text, or the, uh, the length of it, and it'll slow down. The longer out you go, the slower it'll go. Now there's no way that you can make this go slower and still have all the text or just it's a physical impossibility, a mathematic impro impossibility to do that because to show all of the text in that amount of time, you have to go a certain speed to do that. But anyway, that is how you create a text crawl in Premiere Pro. Eventually we're gonna get a crawl over here in our essential graphics, but for this one effect, we still need our legacy title tool in 2022. <laughs> this uh, update was made in 2017. So it's kind of crazy that five years later, we still don't have crawl. Anyway, I digress. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to check out tutorials to learn Premiere Pro in a nice organized manner where you can go from start to finish and build a whole bunch of things, check out the course in the description below. It's a course that I actually created from scratch. Um, I provide you all the resources and I just really show you how to master the effect side of Premiere Pro and how to build out all of its tools. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below on our website, adobemasters.net. If you want to see me very similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.